Good day and welcome to this episode of If Walls Could Talk. I'm John Y, editor of Walls and Ceilings Magazine. I'm joined today by past cover star and top 50 contractor Adam Taubman. He is the owner of Agent Wall Systems out of Norfolk, Virginia. Welcome, Adam. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's good to see you. So let's get right into this. Tell us about your company, the services, what type of contract work you perform, what year you were founded, all that good stuff. Great. So Agent Wall Systems was founded in 1996 um, by Kenneth Jones and another guy, Fred Nichols. Um, I became a partner in the company in 2016 and in 2020 um, bought out the remaining shares and have been the, uh, the sole owner for uh, about four years now. So um, our services are, you know, full drywall, um, you know, complete drywall packages, ACT, but our kind of specialty that we've really gotten into um, the past 15 years has been load bearing metal stud framing for, you know, kind of commercial residential structures, uh, dorms, hotels, senior living, things of that nature. Um, so we've taken a, a real um, specialty in that. And in a 2021, we actually finally opened a prefabrication facility where we, um, <clears throat> 30,000 square foot facility where we manufacture uh, load bearing wall systems uh you know off-site and uh and and, and deliver and install so that's been a big uh big shot in the arm for our company it's really helped uh with everything we do uh mainly keeping our customers happy um uh, probably the biggest piece of news in the, in the in the past handful of years would be that um but we've continued to grow we've grown almost every year and uh you know our, our revenues are nearly double what they were 10 years ago and uh and it's been it's been a positive it's been a positive push so you had mentioned just now that basically you took full ownership of the company i believe was that in 2020 so that was around the time when we did the cover story and yes it sounds like things have been seamless uh were there any growing pains or did you have to scale back any significant changes that happened i know that's a big change for the company and a, you know, there's a lot of weight on the shoulders when you do something like that. Just outline how that first year went for you. Sure. That's a, well, it's really interesting because the first year was um, 2020. And uh, obviously in March and April, COVID hit and, you know, everything went sideways. And it was a little crazy for me because um, I just, just taken over the business. Um, obviously, there was tremendous, um, you know, issues, health issues, um job sites having different requirements for for you know you know covid you know remediation and uh it was it was it was a little scary it was it was it was tough i mean kenny jones who was my partner and i we thought we set up the best possible you know exit strategy for him and entry strategy for me and we felt like prior to 2020 we felt like we really had our ducks in a row and then when covid came it was just like all the rules changed. Everything was different. Uh, and particularly in 2021, we had the steel price increases and we had the um, incredible inflation that hit our industry. And that also made for a lot of challenges in terms of obviously purchasing materials, um, solidifying contracts with you know material increases and all that kind of stuff. And we really had to work through it in 2021. 2021 was a tough year. Yeah. But uh Luckily, uh, things have kind of leveled out the past few years, and it's gotten much, much better. But, you know, while we were prepared for the transition, 2020 and 2021 were extremely challenging years. Well, regardless, it still sounds like you maintain some growth. So can you attribute that to perhaps um, expanding market, meaning your perimeters expanded, or was it just basically the prefab facility that you talked about? What do you attribute that growth to? Well, geographically, we cover a lot more ground than we used to. We oh. used to be primarily Eastern Virginia. Hampton Roads really was our was our main area. We now serve almost the whole state of Virginia, so we've gone westward quite a bit in terms of uh, in terms of, of, of the markets you know that we can serve. Um, and I think hand in hand with that was the prefab facility because of the prefab facility, we were able to geographically grow and we knew that we could service projects that were far away because when you're prefabbing these walls i mean 
a lot of the work is done here in Norfolk, Virginia with our own people. So um, they kind of went hand in hand, the prefab and the growth, but that, that really started taking off uh, in late 2021. Excellent. So looking long term, um, what are some of the aspirations that the company has? So you mentioned, you know, basically your ge geographic reach is throughout the state of Virginia. Um, are you island Maryland or North Carolina at this time? You know, it's a great question. We are. We have been in North Carolina before and we've done, you know, a nice job here or there kind of one offs. Um, we would like to potentially move into North Carolina. Um Right now, our immediate focus is to maintain the level of work we have in the western part of Virginia. So there's a lot of work at Charlottesville, Virginia, UVA campus. I mean, there's 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 some great opportunities in the western part of the state. Luckily, Virginia is very rich with universities. There's a lot of you know universities in the state of Virginia, so there's a lot of construction that happens. So <clears throat> our primary focus is to stay west continue to grow out there. Um, but then after that, the next move would be North Carolina. Excellent. So listen, what are some of the challenges the company is facing now? <clears throat> um, today's challenges are probably more, you know, we had so many um, material supply issues from 2021 and bleeding into 2022. Um, but those have, have relatively stabilized. I mean, we don't have so much of an issue with that. I think the challenge is now, I mean, it seems like on the private development side of things, the interest rates and the cost of money have made it difficult for a lot of private developers to get their projects out of the ground. And that's that's something we work on a lot. And we tend to do a lot of private negotiated stuff. And it's very price sensitive. Um, and, and it's hard to make these deals work. I mean, you see these beautiful projects that you, you budget several times. And then at the end of the day, Either the developer can't come up with the money or the bank, you know, the interest rate's too high, the deal doesn't work. Um, so getting getting those really nice private projects out of the ground has been tough because of the interest rate and because of the cost of money. So you didn't mention that five-lettered L word. Is labor a concern or no? <laughs> That's funny. Um, honestly, uh, we have been fortunate in, in the state of Virginia to have a, a pretty ample labor force and uh, and you know, we've been able over the years to to maintain a solid foundation of, of skilled skilled workers. So that has not been a big problem for us. I know elsewhere in the U.S. it probably is, um, but it's not been a real big problem for us here. So as we wrap things up, you were again named a top 50 contractor uh, through our annual list that we publish each August. Congratulations on that. So what does it mean for you to be named this? You know, um, I've thought a lot about that recently and it actually is well first of all it's an honor and and, and it, it really is um it, it makes it kind of gives some affirmation to you know our effort to be a, the contractor that we are and we're very grateful to be named that and what i think is interesting and we're actually going to start marketing that a little bit with some of our customers because we're doing this westward expansion is what i call it and um we're dealing with more uh national contractors national general contractors and construction managers I think when you go to somebody who doesn't know who you are and you say, hey, you know, we're a walls and ceilings top 50 contractor and, you know, we're, we're the only one from the state of Virginia. Um, I think it, it, it means something. It should mean something. And uh, and we're actually going to start using that with these national GCs. And Hampton Roads at home, we're buddies with all of our customers. You know, we're buddies with all of our general contractor customers. But when you deal with a national firm and you don't necessarily know the people, it's 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 a bit of a, a, a you know it makes you look good you know so it's kind of nice so we 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 value it and uh, we're going to start mentioning it more. That's an excellent answer. And finally, to be named a top fifty contractor, you have to have a devoted and excellent team. So, in addition to that, do you want to give a shout out to anyone and perhaps some partners such as um, some of the distributors you work with, some top sales reps from manufacturers or GCs, anyone of the like. <laughs> Now's your yeah, time. well, absolutely. Well, um, you know, our team here in the office in the field is, is amazing. Um, Cash and Ben, Jack, Mike, um, all of our guys we work with every day. Um, wonderful. We, we we do. I think everyone enjoys working in Agent Wall Systems who works here. And it's it's a really fortunate thing to have uh, when people enjoy the workplace and enjoy what they do. And I think everybody here does. Um, and as far as um, distributors, you know, we've been a GMS 
loyal uh, customer for a long, long time, and uh, and they've taken great care of us over the years, and we we value that relationship. And um, you know, uh, there's been some other big big players. You know, Bowlcraft has we've done a lot with them, um, and uh, and we appreciate you know the partnerships that we do have. It does take a lot of uh, a lot of people to to make it happen every day. <laughs> Well, that's an excellent answer. I appreciate you taking the time. And really, that's all the time we have for today. So listen, I've been speaking to Adam Taubman. He is the owner of Agent Wall Systems are out of Norfolk, Virginia. I'm John White of Walls and Ceilings. And please visit us at wconline.com for more videos, podcasts, articles, and news. Good day.